I was in Boston uh, working at WRKO Radio, and I was doing the morning news. And the news director came to me one day and he said, listen, he said, we're having a lunch today for Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, my goodness. And I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, there aren't that many people there. He said, can you come? I said, sure. So I go to a, a luncheon, and there must have been 10 people sitting at this table. And I'm sitting here, and Hitchcock is like right there. And I said to him, Mr. Hitchcock, I said, it's a pleasure to meet you. He said, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> and I said, I have to ask you a question, sir. He said, what is it? I said, how do you decide? I said, when I watch Alfred Hitchcock Presents or mm -hmm. your movies, you always have these amazing plots. Mm -hmm. And I try to figure out how you decide on, on what you're going to do mm -hmm. and how they end. And he said to me, these ideas come to me at the most inopportune time. <laughs> I'm sure. And I said, really? I, 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 tell me about that. He said, many times, he said, I could be just walking somewhere or mm -hmm. sitting at a dinner table mm -hmm. and I have an idea. Mm -hmm. And I said, so what do you do? I write it down on a piece of paper. And I said, wow, that's great. Then there was a pause. And he reached into his pocket. I'll never forget this. He reached into his pocket. And he had a bunch of crumbled up pieces of paper, slammed it on the table, and he said, the future.